please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi.
social worker, Miss uh, Mercy, will give us that. A round of applause, please. Short biography of the home. My name is Miss Mercy. I'm the social worker of uh, Rock of Peace. First of all, the duties of the social worker, the main duty of the social worker in an orphanage home is to ensure that every child in the home is free from abuse and neglect. And um, they should feel safe in the home despite not being in their, in their home of origin. That's actually the job of the social worker in an orphanage home. Um, the biography of Rock of Peace Motherless Home Rock of Peace Motherless Home was founded by Mother Busola Messi Makodriola in the year 2021 with the vision and mission to demonstrate the love of God to the helpless, to the homeless, and the hopeless through a wide range of psychosocial support, care, and protection. Rock of Peace Motherless Home is a non-profit, non-governmental organization and a home for children with special needs and disabilities. It is fully registered with Lagos State Ministry of Youth and Social Development, registered under CAC, and uh, also on, that's the um, Association of Orphanage Homes in Nigeria. We work with Lagos State Social Welfare Department, Lagos State Family Court and Juvenile Welfare Department of Nigerian Police. The home came into existence on the sixth day of April 2021 with the admission of our first baby, Arike Nuraola Sonwonu, who was abandoned at six months old and she's presently two years old with Down syndrome. So we, um, we were supposed to show the picture of yeah, before and after, but because of the rain and some technical issues, I'm sorry about that. Between April 2021 to present, we have admitted 11 children in work of peace motherless home. Unfortunately, we lost a baby of two years old due to his illness of cerebral palsy in February 2022, after 10 months under our care. Presently, in Rock of Peace Motherless Home, we have nine children. We have six boys and three girls between the ages of one year to six years with cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, hydrocephalus, and autism, respectively. Um, between um, April 2021 also, we, we had a, a recruitment of of a child. Um, his, name, his name is Peter. He has a um, global hypotonia. And um, we've been trying to put him in a school. But somehow we experience um, discrimination from schools because they are special children. And um, we also, for this very child, we also need a working aids for him because he can't really work very well but he's an intelligent child. Also in um, August 2021, we admitted a baby with spinal bifida and hydrocephalus. I don't know if I can explain how um, the spinal bifida and hydrocephalus is. It's um, the children with the big head and uh, a growth at the back. And um, immediately it was noticed, we took the baby to Lassu. Several x-rays and scans were conducted with frequent clinic appointments. Um, and she was asked to be, um, she was transferred, referred to see a neurosurgeon. And um, by December 2021, she was admitted and um, the surgery for the spinal bifida in January 21 was successful. In um, May, though she was still um, on admission in the hospital from January till May, because we insisted that the hospital should be done with everything before we bring the baby back to the home. 
So she was in the hospital for like about six months. And um, we later did the um, implantation of the ventricle, sorry, the ventriculoperitoneal shunts. It's called the VP shunts. That's an implantation of uh, a tube in the head that will pass through to the neck, to the stomach. And um, recently, we realized that uh, the babies have been having an infection on that spot. And she was taken back to lawsuits. And um, we were asked, we were given um, a date to come for the surgery, which we pray at the end of the day will be successful. Then uh, our goal as a whole, we have many of our children, we have the Down syndrome that are active, we have uh, the cerebral palsy, we, we place them on medications often, they go, they see the physiotherapist, if you can, the physiotherapist comes to the orphanage home to see all the children. We also have um, um, the ones on monthly, regular appointments that we take to Lassoot, to the hospital also. And often, or when I say, it actually costs a lot for the home to take care of special children. And in one way or the other, we thank God he's been faithful. And... Um, our goal as a home is to have a school for children with disabilities and special needs so that we won't have to take our children out of the orphanage home to um, other schools. Like I said earlier, most of the schools around actually discriminate our children. Once we go there seeking for admission, the first question they ask us is, are they normal or special? And with that, they tell us they don't have facilities to train special children, which is a kind of like a delay to, to take care of or to take or to send them to the school to schools here. So our goal is to get a, a school with with a, that would take care of children with disabilities and special needs, so that the children present in the home can benefit a lot as they grow. Conclusion in Doha and Doha, uh, and our prayer as a home is that God will continue to take care of every child in our care, strengthen the caregivers, and continue to provide for the founder of the home and all our mommies and our daddies that support us in one way or the other to put a smile on the faces of, the, of our children. May the Lord's provision and protection never cease from our household. Is good all the time, all the time. All the time. All the time. because your Lord is good. You have to put something down to them. Put something down. Jesus Christ, that was all you pay. Me, you talk on show, show refer your book. You're taking it. Oh, <laughs> If you to buy one thousand, bless him, my wife. You will be a good Then, you to buy it to a coffee, Mama, that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. The joy in the Lord, the sadness in the community. It is not a pleasant story. It's a story that you have bought, but he. I mentioned a lot of uh, names 
which my wife says I should not mention my name in my mouth. It, they are terrible names. And you can easily see the reason why these children were abandoned. The parents cannot take care of them. You will be more, you told me more. You are going to see become. If it had a way, this is our nation. Look, they might be looking to miss a boy. We don't want to miss anybody. We should learn to pay. The first year when you came to us, the song, the Padani. Because this honesty has become our policy. The scare was asking who was standing in the gap. And my this is my sister. For ages, she just loves to do something for God. She to No it's not all those who are putting on the robe, the, the color that are preaching. She's already preaching. To use her resources to cater for abandoned children. You will be surprised. When the woman was reading the paper, I was expecting to hear the Lagos State has done this, the Lagos State has done this, the federal government has done this. They are not interested. That's why I said my standing on is with peace and silence. America loves one person. Because of one person, they can destroy Nigeria. Because of one citizen. If a citizen of America is maltreated here, they can bomb this country. But here, along the road, you see dead, dead bodies. But the few of us that are here, God has appointed us to be here. We are blessed in heavenly riches. We may not have the worldly riches because the worldly riches has an ultimate end which nobody desires. But the heavenly blessing, like what our mother has said, 1,000 is heavenly blessing. Because if you remove 1,000 from 1 million, you can't call it 1 million again. It becomes point. Point nine 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 nine. It's not even one million. So, I want us to continue to pray for this woman. The love for humanity to take up an assignment, a kingdom assignment like this. It's a kingdom assignment. It is an assignment that she can never be rewarded on the earth. The reward is there, and we know the reward is eternal life, and you will not miss it in Jesus' name. And one more year. This word is only a new joy in your shame. You bang your foot to bed like a monkey. That one they mentioned in youth in the hospital. I was there. I was there to see what was going on. A small boy with so much operation. Small. Look at what they are saying. They are passing one from head to head. For a small boy, but you can see something is happening there. God is at work. For that small boy that God could allocate somebody to take care of that very child is heavenly. It's not something that can easily be done with the flesh. I was there, saw her running here and there, I stood by the child, and was just saying, go to God. Well, let's continue to encourage her every day. There are a lot of people that have been coming here, I'm sure, because on my post, on my ministry post, the name is there. There was even somebody who called me sometimes, a few months ago. He said, ah, that name you gave on the, for the house, I, I, I couldn't get it to I just made the text, I sent the text to, to me. And I'm sure we must have done something. Let's use the name of this orphanage and spread it to our friends. You don't, they don't need to tell you that they're doing this or not. Just spread the names so that you can pay something in or you can bring something in for them, for the children. And God will be with us all. And I know God, the author and finisher of our faith, the creator of them and heart, will surely continue to strengthen her. We continue to lift her up. We will not be tired. 
you will not be weary. Blessings will be coming. Amen. People whom you don't know, they will come Amen. and come and help you in the assignment. Tell the things that are going on in In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. I know there's no rise. So we won't see a lot of people because I won't say I'm disappointed. But I'm just like, why? This is, we're talking about vulnerable children. We're talking about children that cannot help themselves. First, uh, when I was called by uh, Mother Marco Jola, I was, they were talking to me about Joy. Joy, um, she has paid over 4 million naira for joy operation and they still need another one million naira. You see our government, they know they help. They are like Obi, they know they put shish. <laughs> so they know they put money social worker, am I lying? Do you put shish? They don't put shish. But is um Mommy Marco Jola decided on her home to pick joy home. They can show joy for me. So this is Joy. I'm going to put the account number on my page for people that want to see Joy. Joy was abandoned by a mother. And you know, I love Lagos State Government. Mommy, my controller. Even if you only show to buy drugs, but I want to only allow you to do your Lagos State Government know that you are capable of giving. That's why they gave you all the people they have. I I think I was talking to one of the officials concerning the baby and said, Mommy, if you know you will let me, I might be a guy, you be saying you be that you are capable, you live in Western world. And that is why so they decided so to give you a level no God to bless you. <laughs> because they know that the Lord you serve is a mighty one. Yes. God's way family, I'm not only talking to people that are here, I'm going to put the account number there. We spent four, Monima Kajuala and the team have spent four million naira on joy. And they still need another one million to go back for the operation. Because she is, you know, as she's going, you know, she can never be independent, you know. She needs to continuous help in life. If I thought she even goes home. So at least for now, if, if we can get a help for one million. Oh, sister, that's a social worker. Can you talk? And you are what the one that say about yes. us. We actually need, we need funds. Like for intensive care. Even she's supposed to have gone to hospital she's was in on last, last, last week for 90,000 yes. naira. But because I have this event and I have another event for the night of peace uh, on the 11th of November, which is the which is the which is the yearly crusade, I couldn't afford it. The baby hasn't gone. I supposed to have paid that since last week on uh, and on this baby. Okay, this is what I want to do. Please, Mickey, can you move back for me a bit? Thank you, everyone. And come up back to my single way, label. Or sing got of a shape. Only, uh, 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 our Baba woman so coco. One ton of bad, they let up a pan like a roof at some of the Or psycho to come at that into another said, Yeah, we are Nigerians, we are Nigerians. And unfortunately, if we can come back to life, I would love to come this skin. But I would love to come like this, this shape, this height, this skin. I would prefer America. Yeah? <laughs> God, that's my condition. But if Nigeria by that time is like America, I can still come back because if I do Nigeria, you can't compare it to anywhere. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no. Daddy, after 20, 20 something years in abroad, I said I'm going home. People said you are mad. I said I'm not mad. Ah, on Christmas Day, you will cook yourself, you will eat yourself. If you look out like this, you'll be looking at snow. For, I was doing that for over 20 years. I said I'm going home. They said you can't go. I said I will go to you know my shape. And I've spent three years in Nigeria. They said, well, you run up back. We live here together. I don't run back. If I go, I go on any day. There's no Yari see. It's another fun where you oh shoddy, shoddy, shoddy. Whatever you have to say, I will go on the shoddy. It's another thing. Those are the things. That kill depression. You have your own problem that you are carrying on, and your neighbor will come. Ah, I see an apple. Ah, people say no matter what woman, you will leave your own problem and be satisfied. Depression is gone. Ah, my 
Nigeria is sweet. It's only money, no tea. But we are blessed. This is the land to G. Also give 50,000. 50,000. And there's somebody promised 1,000 pounds. She said that she would mention. When I hear pounds, only my do back. Back. Mommy, please. How much pounds? 1,000 pounds. Please, let me do Please, give me water. But I, I'm cold. I'm, I'm sh I need what, but I want to. I'm cold. Don't you move me? 1,000 pounds. Please, what is the collection of pounds tonight? Don't bother. Don't bother. Daddy, 1 million. I'm not talking to you. When they come, you know your daughter now. Come back to the door. Don't worry, my calculate. Amen. Before I go, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone. One. Um, Ike or the rice, because you can bring it here for the children. When you have rice scripts, one box is welcome. There's nothing you bring to this orphanage that you will not be appreciated. And please, and please, don't let us forget these children. We're giving them life. We're giving them hope. We're blessing them. We're looking after them. And let me tell you something. These children, their prayer goes a long way for you. So, Remy, Timanda, Jirawo, but when children pray for you, Joshua, hi darling. So remember them. So I want to talk to people on the media. Now, for people, um, you are in the media. We are pleading, we are begging. It's not easy to look after a disabled child. I know a lot of people on my platform that has one or two disabled child. We understand what I'm talking about. It's another challenge entirely. For the mothers that are abandoned these children, it's because they don't have the capacity. Who wants to tell me one person will pay four million for operation for one child? Maybe she has about four before. She decided, no, I can't do it, let me give it up. Even I'm not against them giving up. I appreciate them not killing those children. They're still giving them life. So if you're on social media and you're seeing this, you know me, I don't bring rubbish to social media. You've helped me during the COVID to feed 500 people for 22 days. God's way family, you're helping me now to empower 20, 24 women to be a professional makeup party with a starting kit. We're doing the second week now. And it's a budget of two million plus. So you can still help me God's with family to look after these children. I need a donation. I'm going to be putting it up every month to get a donation. There are babies. This is another baby. Wow. She has a baby. Baby, Mora, That was our first baby. Okay, this is our first baby girl. Mora, <laughs> Look how she's holding on to me. This is baby Burala. I can see she has a, a damn syndrome. She's a son. So if you um, have worked with this kind of children, adult as well. So it's very, very challenging. So God's with family, I need your help. The um, orphanage account has been posted there. Whatever you have. If you need the address, get in touch with me. For the media, please. If you need the address, we're going to release it to you. You can come anytime to see the children. We need food. We need clothes. Number three, Takwa Crescent. Takwa bus stop. Iju off Iju Road, Agege. Number three, Takwa Crescent, Takwa bus stop. Off Iju Road, Agege, Ifako. If you want to come anytime, Please, you don't need to book appointments. Come and see them. Come and look after them. Um, I'm going to plead if you want to adopt one. Baby Wurala, or don't me. So I'm going to be adopting Baby Wurala. Well, it's only in our hands. It's, it, it, that's why our government used to be funny. They are not giving us a dime, but they are the one in charge of adoption. So well, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, she's going to be here. What I mean by, anybody, you can do this. Well, you can do this. When I say I'm going to adopt her, I'm going to...
going to be paying for our feeding every month. Clothing, feeding, anything that has to do with baby Murala, I will be taking care of that. I'm still going to go around and show the children, if you are interested in doing this, let me tell you something, 10,000 era every month will not kill you. A lot of people abroad, you can do this. You can do this. We need people to get up, we need people to stand up and help us. So I'm talking to the people behind the camera now. I'm talking to you at home. I'm talking to you in London, in America, in Canada, in Germany, in Italy, in whichever state you have. We need your help for these kids. You are their bone, you are their strength, you are their eyes, you are their hand to lift them up. I don't want to include the government, you know me. But God's with family, I have a five million order, me or the first order of my daughter, Tony Mio deliver. And I'm going to watch your show, you won't be on the show, she can't talk about family. Because I will not see without talking. So I'm going to leave the government out of this. I need individual people, people that matters, people that can help. I need them to come. Okay, this is one of our boys as well. Peter. How are you? So this is baby Peter. Baby Peter, how old is baby Peter? He's three years old. Three years old, very tall. Can he walk? No, he can't. He can't walk. He needs braces. So how much are we looking for the braces? 50,000 naira. Okay. I'm going to call my husband and he's going to pay that 50,000 before I leave you. I'm going to call him. He's going to pay the 50,000 naira. So God bless everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, I wish we are more than this because I know if we are more than this. Uh, please, before we go home, you know I was saying 12,000 sisters brought me here. So who wants to give me money for transport? That is great to you. It's a gift. This is a gift from God. I'm going to take it. God has started to be with you and perfect everything. And I pray for the children and the Lord will bless them, the Lord will heal them, and all of them in Jesus' name. And I pray for the workers, the caregivers, the, the social worker, that God can to strengthen them because it's not easy to take care of children, especially special children. God will give you the strength. God will help you. God will bless your whole children too in Jesus' name. And I pray for everybody here, our grandma. God will continue to bless you and strengthen you. A high table, God will bless everybody. God will strengthen everybody. God will bless our whole children too in Lord Jesus. As we are doing this, this is humanity. God will bless us in Jesus' name. But because what we are doing, we are not doing anything that is ordinary. It's something special. But you give out to people that are less today. God will bless you too because we don't know where our children are going, to, are going to be. We don't know where we are going to help our children. It's just by His grace, by mercy that we are alive today and our children are held and healthy. So we pray that we to bless everybody in Jesus' name. Amen. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Was